Okay, so we have a client that um, is having some autofocus issues. So this is going to be a, a, a little workflow to test some of that. Um, and ultimately, the autofocus sensors detect the surface of whatever the material is. So in this case, I have uh, an aluminum license plate that I'm going to use uh, and a piece of bamboo cutting board uh, and then just, just wood panel. Uh, just so I can have some varying thicknesses. Um, so what is occurring, and I've removed my head for this portion uh, on purpose uh, because we had been up until this point using the lens assembly and the piece of acrylic to gauge whether the focus was correct or not when you autofocused, but we're adding variables there. Um, the lens tube could move, uh, you know, various things. So we're going to use a different constant and we're just going to use a straight edge and we're going to measure right down to the surface of the material and then just pick a spot on the gantry for instance i'm going to measure from here from the top part of the gantry um you know so um you want to make sure that none of the pieces are in the path of the sensor you want to make sure that no magnets or holding devices are in the path of it and you do want to make sure that your material is in the path of it so i'm going to go ahead and autofocus And it should detect the top now this thing is pretty sensitive and it can actually detect underneath if there's a gap that's why something like this would not be a good idea because it can see through that especially this direction you could turn it this way and you may be able to get away with it but for testing and things like that you don't want to add those kind of variables so I've got something pretty flat here now I'm going to take a measurement and record this and it's 139 millimeters. So, now what we want to do is focus this material. And this one won't matter because we're looking for the surface, right? So the bed's going to move down and find the surface. And we want to find, hopefully, that we get 139 millimeters. So I'm going to autofocus. Okay, now I'm going to measure 139, real close, millimeters. That's doable. That's good. I've got some imperfections on my honeycomb here too, where I drug my head through. On a side note, I still haven't had to align the mirrors since I pulled this thing out of the box, even dragging that head through the uh, honeycomb and laying it over. So let's do the same thing now with this piece. And of course, these don't matter because we're looking for the surface, so it's going to keep moving down because it's blocked now, as indicated by the red LED. So the bed won't move up. Uh, I don't, that may be off screen a little bit, but your uh, autofocus sensor on the right hand side will have a red LED indicator when the beam is broken. So we're going to autofocus again. It's going to move down to find the surface and then inch back up until it finds it again. All right, and we're going to take a measurement. Hopefully, we we'll get 139 millimeters. Actually, that is 134 millimeters. What happened? Let's pull this back out of the way. We're going to do the bamboo again. We're looking for 139 millimeters. 138, that works. Now I'm going to autofocus that again. Should be 138, 139. It is. That's within. Okay, let's try this again. I'm thinking what may have happened is it may have seen underneath it or something. Let me get everything else out of the way. And let's try to autofocus again. We want it to be 138 or 139 millimeters, just like the others. So we're going to autofocus again. And it could also be that paper or that uh, plastic on it. I'm going to take it off in a minute and see if that can affect it. I've had some uh, coatings that were sprayed on slate have a problem. See, it's not reading the surface. So 
there's something wrong with this. I'm going to take the plastic off of it. And put it back in there. Autofocus. Let's see what we get. 130 seven but way closer but there are some deviations there and I can't really explain that unless it's something to do with the material so let me find a different material I'm going to do what I said not to do and I'm going to try that but it's going to be laying that way so it should just detect the surface the other trick you can do if you think that it may see under is just move your bed lower than the sensors that way there's no chance that they can pick up underneath the material Okay. 138. See, it, it did correctly. There was something with that particular material, and I can't imagine what it would be. Now, I'm going to try acrylic, and these are optical sensors, but that's a uh, cut with a saw, saw blade, table saw, so it's, uh, I don't, I think it'll work. I'm going to try it. Uh -uh. Nope. Did you see that? Wait a minute. Maybe it did. No. It did not read correctly. It read through it. You can put a piece of tape on the side. Um, let's try a motor driver. We'll measure from this. This is the highest point. That can be our constant. Let's try this again. Also make sure that your autofocus sensors are clean the faces of them, the lenses. That one's off. That's weird. All right, I'm gonna have to make a second video uh, to figure out why I'm getting differences, but this is the way to find out if you're getting differences. Instead of using the lens tube and a piece of acrylic so this is the best way to do it more to come thanks